Oh, hello. Your other friend not with you? No, he's had to go... Oh, come on. Oh, you know all the movers and shakers, don't you? That's Noreen. She usually comes on holiday with her son, but he's obviously grown out of all that. How old was he? About 46. <laughs> What's the hold up? All the lollies will be out of date by the time we get to the front. No, look at the one I'm pointing to. That is not Minchok Chip. What you're showing me is Minchok Chip. Why don't you have another one of them slush drinks? I don't want another slush drink. The last one gave me brain freeze. All right, well, this man. What? Didn't he have his brain frozen in case they found out how to bring people back to life? I don't know what you're talking about. Excuse me, there's people back here spitting feathers. Oh, it's you. I might have guessed. She's just using an ice cream. This is a queue. I'm at the front of it. You're at the back of it. Deal with it. Bloody hell, did she keep the receipt from the charm school? The more you're breathing down my neck, the longer it's going to take me to decide. You do understand that, don't you? She doesn't want to slush because it freezes her brain. And you not get one that freezes her gob? Oh, come on. Not bothered about a lolly. We'll get one later. Oh, hello. Why don't we get you a lolly when we get ours? Because the park shuts at seven, and the way she's pissing about will still be stood here. Do you mind? I don't take kindly to that kind of language. Hey, go, Mum. Hey, where'd you get them? There's another shop around the corner. It's no queue. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want anything more than that, son? No. That was lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think you've done brilliant with your dieting. But let's be honest, if you turned sideways now, you'd be marked absent. You're joking. I've got another two stone, go. Another two stone? You'll have to wallow out your legs, there's nothing on you. Your Uncle Francis said you'd had an elastic band fitted, like that fern cotton off the telly. But I told him it's a will of iron that boy's used to get his weight down and nothing more. I thought you mean Fern Britain. Now, are you coming with me to the waterfalls of Agadou? The waterfalls of Algar? That's it. No, I've got a bit of business to sort out in the old town. Do you want me to come? No, I've got to see an hombre about a pedal. Oh, right. Eh? You never know that what's a name might be coming to the waterfalls. Tell. I'm not interested. You are. You had a date with her. We're just friends. Well, it's about time you got yourself a nice girlfriend. Mother, will you leave it? What happened to that girl with the funny lip you met on that YTS scheme? Was her name Cheryl? I can't remember. It's a good few years ago. I haven't got time for girls right now, what I? Haven't got time for girls, a good-looking lad like you. What about that lass off the internet you were talking to? Mother, can we just drop the subject? I told you I'd lend you the money to go to Brazil, but you didn't seem keen. Look, how many times do I have to tell you? I'm just not interested! Not interested in girls? <laughs> what are you interested in, then? <laughs> Hello, son. Have you had any breakfast? What do you think you're doing? What do you mean? I've only just been let out of the police station. I know I was going to pop by this morning, but I thought it'd make more sense to get us two some beds. I've just spent the night in the Spanish cells. And the best thing you can do to help me is reserve me a sunbed. Well, I didn't think they'd be keeping you much longer. I mean, you didn't really do anything, did you? I spent 36 hours banged up for wasting police time, thanks to you. Do you want a Cornetto? I know it's only early, but I've just had one. You don't want a Cornetto? No, I don't. I don't want anything from you. That's me and you, finished. Do you understand? What about a strawberry, Miffy? You like them? That's like an ice cream and a nice lolly in one, isn't it? Are you not listening to me? It's over. 
I'm moving out when we get back. Moving out? Where to? Where will he go? As far away from you as possible. What about an ice pop? There's no calories in an ice pop. I'd like to say a few words. Let's give it up for Noddy! What's going on? Thank you, love. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been many times in my life when I've been proud of my only son, Jeff Maltby. She's me PA! His many achievements in life have been impressive and varied. From Lancashire indoor hang gliding champion to the only double winner of the Orm Skirt Meat Plate Fighting Competition without the need of hospitalisation. <laughs> but these brave accomplishments pale into insignificance when I tell you that tonight the night is finally decided to stand tall and announce that he is a wonderful, happy, proud, gay man. You what? Well done, son. And this one is for you. Thank you. Oh, could I have a quick word with you? I have work to do. Hang on a minute. Look, I'm sorry about that earlier. My sister has recently stopped smoking and I'm constantly on edge. We're identical twins, you see. And we often feel whatever the other one is experiencing. She once had a tetanus at the doctor's and although it were only a tiny prick in her bottom, I flew off my seat on the bus and had butted a woman in front of me. I have to get back to work. Would you mind if I came over a bit later on and had a word with you? It depends what your sister is doing today. Lovely. I'll come over as soon as I've got him settled. I cannot wait. Now, what I tend to do is get a little spot just over there, not too far away from the bar, but... No, 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 no. Sun is too direct there. Do you want to die of skin cancer? Is that what you want to do? Well, not really. I tend to use a high-factor cream. Plus, I don't really... No, no. This way. Come on, this way. 
Oh, hello. Your other friend not with you? No, he's had to go... Oh, come on. Oh, you know all the movers and shakers, don't you? That's Noreen. She usually comes on holiday with her son, but he's obviously grown out of all that. How old was he? About 46. Well, it looks like Noreen's found herself a rather forceful young lady friend. It must be her daughter. Yeah, right. Have you never seen the killing of Sister George? Come the end of this holiday, them two'll be dressing like Laurel and Hardy and smoking cigars. She's got to look at that bomb and you see every now and again. You know the little bald fella? Same lived-in face. You might be related. Is this honestly? Honestly, your idea of a good time? Of course it is. Rain belting down outside. Everybody pulling together, making their own entertainment. Look, you've got dominoes on the go. I dare say someone might get up and do a bit of karaoke. It's got a lovely wartime feel about it. Anyway, we're the lucky ones. Some people have been flooded out. Two beautiful cocktails for two beautiful women. Not for us, thank you, darling. Three. Oh, these are special cocktails. Only one per... Three. Here. No, Pauline. No. You've done so well. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. What did Dr. Noble say? One more drink, and that liver of yours will burst like an overfilled icing bag. I'm 42. Single. Twice divorced. Financially and morally bankrupt, on holiday with my mother in Benidorm, in the driving, pissing rain. I have one rabbit cat which cannot be released from customs, and I am absolutely caked in thrush. And you tell me I don't deserve a drink? Come on, Pauline. Think about what you're doing. Remember when you met Roy Castle? When you were 12? And he asked you what you wanted to be when you grew up. And you said, a rodeo clown. Remember what he said to you? You can be anything you want to be. You don't want to be this. For the love of Roy. Put the drink down. Dedication. Uh-huh. Dedication, dedication is what you need. If you want to be the best, and if you want to beat the rest, dedication's what you need. If you want to be a record breaker, Oh, yeah. Next. From which country is Coffee Annan? Coffee Annan, not a beverage. It's the secretary of... I know who he is. Come on, you know this one. Ghana. What are you doing? I was just about to say Ghana. Well, that's all right, then. What do you mean, that's all right? You're supposed to wait for me to tell you the answer. But you said you knew it. Oh, well, that's going to be great then, isn't it? When they're reading out the answers tonight and I say, don't worry about the blank ones I left, because I actually didn't know them. I just couldn't be asked to fill them in. Well, I'm going to have a little sleep if you're going to be like this. Oh, brilliant. Well, don't worry about me. I said, don't worry about me. Lancashire pub quiz champion being beat by a load of dickheads because my mum wanted and I can't sleep. I say... Unbelievable! <laughs>